My name is Vasiliki. I studied several languages, but I only work with three of them professionally, so Greek, English and French. I primarily work with English into Greek and I am a translator. It's very difficult, especially when you start, but don't give up because if you really love it and you are good at it, you are going to make it. So it takes a lot of perseverance and patience and, and hard work and go into it knowing that you are a very valuable professional and treat yourself as a professional and as a business. And if you do have that business mindset developed from the beginning, that's a very good start. Um, there are a lot of practical tips I could give um, for those who are starting out now or thinking about it. One of them would be if you're not a qualified translator, but you do want to become one, try and look into the various options that there are out there for you because there are several degrees and universities, there are diplomas that are offered to people. They are going to help you a lot to understand the difficulties, the techniques, the strategies and give you the right tools that you need in order to, to succeed. When I started, I didn't know that much, right, about anything really. <laughs> um, yes, of course I did a master's degree in translation and interpreting, but my network was not as big as it is now. And when I was a student, I joined the Institute of Linguists and I started coming to all the events. And I got to meet several wonderful colleagues that then after chatting to them on a few occasions, they've referred me to their clients because I know many times we might think of other translators as simply competitors, but we're all so different and we all have something so different to offer. So I see everybody else as a strong supporting network because I don't translate into Spanish or, or into French or into Finnish, but I know others who do. So I will give my clients their contact. So that way you get referrals and you also get the support network that you need. To prepare for a translation assignment, I think it's very important to really understand the assignment first. So have a very good look at the documents involved. Sometimes things can be very rushed and, and very quick, so you will not have time to read absolutely everything. But do go through the documents and try and understand, is this document really a medical document as the client supports it is, or is it in fact something to do with engineering? Because sometimes if the client cannot read the language, Somebody else has told them this is um, a contract about engineering work and it ends up it's not, it's something entirely different. A typical day as a translator, um, a lot of people would say that doesn't exist um, because when you essentially run your own business you have a lot of external demands. I don't 100% agree with the fact that we have no control over our day because to me that sounds quite wrong and stressful. Um, so my day tends to start and end the same way every day. But then what happens in between is often dictated by a phone call or an email, which is not great. And it doesn't happen every day. So that's the good thing. Um, so I would tend to start my day with things that are completely irrelevant to my work. So exercise, try to read, try to meditate.